The Moonlight Diner has hit the Carmichael area across from the St. Gregory's Anglican Church and is expected to open its doors once COVID-19 gets under control. The morning team caught up with the owners of this new business venture to find out about the concept, what's on the menu, and what customers can look forward to while dining under the moonlight. Take a look. We took the engine out and with the, with the hood and we went and got another bus. And now, as you look at it, it's, it's more like a caboose of a train. It has two backs. Before COVID-19 wreaked havoc on this country, businessman Cleedy Hanna and his family purchased a dilapidated yellow school bus for a bargain and transformed it into a beautifully designed Moonlight Diner on wheels. With the catchy chicken logo attached and the name tag Moonlight Diner engraved on the outside, the inside is even more breathtaking as the concept can be compared to what's seen tucked away on the lawns of old-time movies. Hanna says with strict social distancing protocols, the unique way to dine will accommodate couples and families, but only 15 at a time. Initially, the, the idea was to have it open like a 24-hour diner. However, right now, we can't get the hours for that, but it's something that we're going to work at. And we're going to be serving uh, breakfast and, and lunch all day. Is, is uh, you know, uh, chicken and waffles, steak and eggs, and, and uh, stuff like that all day. So to serve... And we're gonna go until for breakfast until all night. So that's that's what we're trying to do. But Cleedy says with the lingering fears over COVID-19, there are many alternative options customers can consider to dine under the moonlight. We have this deck right here, and we're gonna we also have a takeout. So as right now, because of the um, the social distancing that we have to deal with, we're gonna we're gonna. Um, facilitate mostly takeout initially and then uh, as we move on we're gonna take it from there we're gonna have fast food well it's not fast food but it's good food served fast uh, everything's gonna be freshly uh, cooked what they do is have a screen out just uh, so we could play uh, play movies you know for people passing by or people just gonna come and sit and, and watch them old movies and stuff like that. And uh, the type of music we're going to play, it's all beha all Bahamian music. So so we're here and we're Bahamian, so that's what we want to do. We're, we're going to cater to our people. Hannah remains hopeful, though, that once the curfews and lockdowns are lifted, they can offer fine cuisine to all Bahamians up until midnight.